probably the most significant part of this course will be the retreat that is scheduled for the beginning of week two. I guess the word retreat means different things to different people. Sometimes an, ad an administrator will decide that the best way that he can get all his workers together for important planning is to pull them away from the office and schedules and phone calls and email and take them to some isolated place without those distractions for maybe a day or two. Usually this is not for a holiday or a rest, but often it's a time of intense working and planning. Sometimes we have pastor's retreats where all the ministers, ministerial workers of an area will be called together to meet for spiritual encouragement. Often a guest speaker comes and there's a lot of presentations. But this retreat for you is going to be quite different because the guest speaker, I'm happy to inform you, is going to be God. And he has an individualized and unique message just for you. I don't know what he's going to tell you during this retreat. But I do know that if you open your heart and your mind and invite him to speak to you, you will be ministered by, to by the God of the universe and be greatly blessed and encouraged in your ministry. My role is to create some kind of structure of time and space for you to follow. But the real focus is for you to be listening to what God has to say for, to you. Many workers for God use the Bible to find answers for other people with needs and questions, and they certainly use the Bible to prepare sermons and Sabbath school lessons. But not every pastor has had the opportunity of allowing God to speak to him or her personally through the scriptures, and this is what makes the retreat for you different. This class in Ministry and Spiritual Life is perhaps my favorite class to facilitate because the spiritual formation of pastors was the fo focus of my doctoral research. And for more than three years, I immersed myself into the literature and the practice of developing a relationship with God for pastors. My research actually looked at a spiritual formation class very similar to the one that you are, going, that you are involved with at the moment. This class was conducted by John Dibdahl at Andrews University. And it was a required class for all the MDiv students. In this class there were 120 students from all around the world and from the all six continents. My research looked at the impact that this class has upon seminary students. Um, you'll be interested to know that your textbook, um, Hunger, is written by the professor of that particular class that I researched, Dr. John Dibdahl, and in fact the book is, in some ways, a summary of many of the lectures that he gave to those students that I researched 10 years ago. I'll share more of those details of, in later classes. But what I want you to know is that the retreat conducted like we're going to do was a very important part of the spiritual formation of pastors. Some tried to get out of the retreat and some tried to avoid the class. But at the end, they acknowledged that it was very beneficial. This is the, uh, the doctoral uh, research uh, book that I wrote. And I'll just tell you about Kevin. That's not his real name. But he was one of these people who did not want to go to this retreat. He had already pastored for some years, so he was rather surprised at having to take a class in spiritual formation. Pastors are supposed to be spiritual already, he said. Why do I need to take this class? When he found out that an eight-hour retreat over the first weekend was a compulsory part of the course, the battle was on. And ten weeks after the event, the scene was still vivid in his mind. This is what he said, and I'll read it in his own words. There was a battle, no, a war going on in my head the night before the spiritual formation class retreat you don't need that class, drop it, a voice demanded. Take the class, Kevin, another voice whispered. What do you need spiritual formation for? You're already beyond those basics. You've been a leader all your life, the other voice shot back. Kevin, this is more than basics. You will see it, the whisper came. The loud voice jumped back. You grew up Adventist, you're already spiritual, you're preaching sermons, 
You don't need this class. Again, the small voice softly whispered, Kevin, choose to go. It will benefit you. This went on until the morning broke, says Kevin. My curiosity rose to new heights. I was going to explore this class that seemed to make, to cause such a battle uh, ground in my mind. My curiosity brought me to the first class and the Spirit of God kept bringing me back week after week. I experienced a change in my life. The fullness was emptied. I ca the fullness um, was emptied out. I came to di a deeper realization. I am a sinner. Jesus became very real to me. He brought me to a close, meaningful relationship with him. And I'm going to tell you a, a little more about Kevin's story at the end of the retreat today. Um, the next part of the video will be looking at the preparation.